uh, listen to uh, Mr. Kamil. He is uh, a tax advisor. We listen to uh, Mr. Mario, and he's also a tax advisor. I'm very happy to introduce the uh, following uh, 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 speaker, Mr. Uh, uh, Hisham. Uh, he actually uh, helped in drafting the laws of the central bank, uh, the law of uh, uh, money laundry. The, uh, he is the vice. He is the member of uh, the High Committee for uh, Legislation uh, Reform. Uh, we would like to listen uh, from him, uh, Councillor uh, Hisham Ragab, the member of the Supreme Committee for Legisl uh, Legislative uh, Reform. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ale. I attended many uh, um, forums. I would like to thank uh, Dr. Abla and the ECES uh, for all this energy and uh, to gather this uh, very well experienced panelists and speakers, I will try to not to be lengthy and to talk uh, in not more than 10 minutes in order to uh, open the uh, floor for discussion. I like it so much what Mario said uh, to take uh, this slogan uh, for let us make it easy for them to cheat down. Actually, we normally do this, and we don't know. It's in our Amr. And before I start, I would like to tell Mr. Kamel, my dear friend, and there are lots of people that they participated in uh, in in drafting the law of the SMEs, I totally agree with him that the regulator, once he is issuing any laws, first of all, he will look at a one-size-fits-all. Uh, it doesn't, it is not important to put all the standards and all, uh, as if I'm pushing them to be part of the informal economy. Now we have uh, many trends in Egypt that they focus uh, that they focus when uh, they issue the laws and the uh, regulations. They do a kind of modeling, putting in uh, their consideration what's proper for the SMEs. For example, the law of the industrial uh, registration that was issued in the year 2015. It was mentioned clearly the specs for the SMEs in order to get the license and the registration from among the conditions to co-op with the uh, uh, with the project itself uh, he said it very clear with the regulator um, he actually uh, he actually set uh, certain fees for the SMEs. For example, the fees is more or less than a specific number. The time frame a time frame and we give more time for the SMEs, for example, uh, studying the environmental impact. We said that this, the SMEs will be exempted from this fees because it is not a risk factor for the SMEs and this happened with the cooperation with the Ministry of Environment. This is a model that I participated in, you know, uh, that I particip participated in. Um, concerning to what I would like to uh, shed the light on in only five minutes, uh, we might talk about this um, before uh, the uh, uh, draft law and the project law of uh, the SMEs, what are the objectives of uh, the law, which is considered to be one of its in one of its components is the informal sector. I am not a tax advisor, and but I would like to tell you an idea, but uh, the important background of uh, the SME is uh, I have three indicators uh, that uh, they say that we are facing a big problem and a big uh, challenge. Uh, Egypt, uh, the uh, statistics and the indicators uh, says uh, that uh, the SMEs, uh, according to the definition, uh, 
the definition of the central bank participate in the GDP for about 25%. The countries that we see like benchmarks and we implement our policies according to them, we see that the participation of this sector in the GDP is from 50 to 70%. We are far away, so we have to stop and to see what can be done in the policies in order to improve the situation. The second point, which is the second indicator, the issue of the participation of this sector, the informal sector in the export department. The studies and the researches indicates, and the more credible ones says that the best rate the, uh, the best rate uh, participate for about 15%, 15, yes, 15 percent. The benchmark that we saw in the other countries, uh, the, the rate is from 37 to 40 percent. So 15, if this is a correct and a specific number, and I, I doubt, actually, we are still far, far away. The third indicator that uh, we have to stop uh, in front of this indicator, the uh, indicator says that me as a tax authority, 88% 88, 88 of the revenue, of the tax revenue, it comes from the big, uh, the big companies, uh, meaning that the business, the business of these companies is beyond uh, two, uh, 200 thousand millions and the SMEs participate in the tax revenue for about seven percent. Um, these uh, statistics and these indicators, it comes from research centers and these uh, statistics were declared in many reforms and um, uh, in many uh, forums and in many uh, conferences. Um, uh, 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 globally, it is uh, on the other way around. The SMEs, they participate um, in the tax revenue from 60 to 70 percent. If these statistics are correct, so this means that Egypt is facing a big challenge, is facing a big problem, and it doesn't only need a kind of um, uh, 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 amending the, the, the laws because it will be like uh, like a drug just to call a painkiller or a drug just to to calm your pains. This will not be the solution. This will not be the treatment. We need um, we need a solution. We need new laws to be to be issued. We give a space for the importance of the SMEs and the micro projects and we took in details about the environment of the business and how the business environment is very important for the SMEs as well as being very important to the big companies. We are trying to find uh, a solution for this uh, for this problem. Uh, we uh, were talking also about the registration of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the property. And it is not clear that the traditional treatment ways in order to change the way of the registration will be fast. We are trying to put a new idea uh, under the name of the uh, temporary uh, uh, um, privatization. Uh, this is according. Uh, this uh, this actually will save all the the steps of the registrations. This is a new path that we are opening. If it will, uh, it, if it will be uh, successful, this will be a new opportunity uh, for us. In, uh, in uh, some uh, parts, uh, the country uh, the country will use a certain system. Uh, to take uh, the, the the profit within uh, 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 30 years or 40 uh, or 40 years we will try to uh, to solve this problem of the asked and not to be bankful the uh, second uh, problem which is uh, the priority of the tax claims. Me as a country, if uh, I have a project that is not going well, I will talk first of all about my rights. That's uh, the kind of organization that used to be implemented in Egypt and all over the world. If um, there is a project that uh, that uh, uh, it can, it, it, that the, the problems of uh, the, the projects can be solved and uh, 
and actually a lot of uh, the uh, entities were cooperating with us if I did not help these projects, if I did not uh, put this uh, in my uh, uh, opportunities, this uh, will lead to the failure of the total value chains of the producers. The, the government is not going to take anything. So it's a reality. But uh, we faced a problem. We organized the, the, the creditors. From among the other issues, do I need to offer incentives to this sector? Do I need to uh, provide them fi uh, specific financial prog uh, programs and temporary financial pro uh, programs? The whole world is doing so. And when I'm talking about the whole world, I mean that uh, we have uh, 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 looked at the statistics and the uh, case studies. We are trying in order to offer uh, incentive uh, 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 programs for uh, logic reasons. In addition, we were able to gain the approval of the, 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 the economic group, in addition to some experts, to say we are totally convinced that the government alone will not be able to improve this sector. All the big companies that are going to uh, help and support these projects relating this to the markets will try to uh, will try to help them in the marketing uh, will try to offer some parameters no i'm going to say i'm going to offer you as a big company if you are going to help me in helping the smes because the big companies they know how to develop and to improve these tools better than me as a government because me as a government, I know I know the the entities, I know the capabilities, I know I but I don't have actually the capabilities of supporting the SMEs. Um, at the beginning, this uh, thought or this idea was not acceptable, but uh, thank God they are thinking about it now, and uh, thank God also we gained the approval of the government, and I think that uh, within one week or two weeks, uh, uh, it will be. Issued. The last point before the informal sector is the issue, the financial, the financial or the fund, the cost of the cost of the financial entity to study uh, to study these uh, one of the projects of the SMEs and uh, to study the history. The people they go to the big banks that they do have a clear profitability and nothing, and they do have the records and they do have the accountant. The idea to have uh, 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 companies to uh, offer them. Um, uh, as if they are doing the homework instead of, of, of the bank and for sure will shorten the way and it will allow the SMEs to get their funds. Uh, the last point that is related to the, that is, that there is a kind of separation uh, uh, the separation between the formal and the informal sector concerning the Egyptian economy. I'm not going to to, to go uh, through details. The most important question is what do I, what I am expecting from the informal sector. Uh, the the reality that we work on it and the reality that we adopt and we started to work with Dr. Abla. I focus uh, I focus on the uh, in this sector on the companies that they would like to penetrate the market. They would like to grow. That they do have uh, problems in getting their license. So this is the uh, main objective that this project is focusing on. So according to this, uh, we set a group of incentives and regulations from among the components. They are uh, seven or eight uh, items. Uh, through these seven or eight items, I help the projects in order to include this project in the uh, formal uh, project. And I try to issue the license for him. 
And I give him a timeline, a, a, a time frame from uh, three to five years, telling him you have to settle all your circumstances and all your 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 pro your problems within this uh, time frame. And by the end of the program, if uh, uh, if uh, you did so with this, uh, if you if you are committed with this uh, uh, timeline, you you are going to get the incentives. Uh, normally, people or uh, c countries uh, they uh, they focus on uh, the problems, uh, the insurance, the 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 challenges. Uh, we should focus on uh, the cost and the cost. And actually, this is one of the reasons that uh, he will prefer to stay in the informal sector, the coast. And on the other side, I have to think about the incentives that I'm going to take if I join the formal uh, sector. The problem is uh, we don't have uh, we don't have the proper way or we don't have the proper mechanism in order to deliver and to convey to the people working in the in the informal sector what are the incentives, what are the, uh, the advantages that they are going to get if they join the uh, formal uh, sector. This uh, law will allow the government to put uh, the policies in this frame. But it, and, and on the other side, is going to give um, a space for the NGOs and to the special, specialized companies to work on awareness programs and to talk about case studies and successful, uh, successful experience. I don't want the whole sector to be part of the formal economy. No, I'm only looking for those who I am uh, interested in, not the, not the micro uh, informal uh, uh, sector. I was talking with Dr. Abla five years ago, there are people that uh, they uh, they export to uh, to foreign countries, and unfortunately, they don't have license. If I provide the license from for them, I think the whole world will change for them. Uh, when we were talking about these programs and the hun the hundred items that they are included in this uh, program, uh, this this uh, these items were put uh, according to the discussions and the debates and according to the case studies and according to the lessons and the experience and the experiments all over the world. I wish that soon that this will be submitted to the parliament and it will be a good start for this sector in Egypt. Thank you so much, Mr. Hisham. The last uh, the speaker uh, here, uh, and I'd like to call him the taxpayer. He represents the Egyptian taxpayers, representatives of the Federation of Egyptian Industries, and he is the uh, president of the uh, Tax and uh, Customs uh, Committee in the EFI, and he is also the head of the pharmaceutical uh, industries, and he has also a pharmaceutical company. Thank you uh, so much. Uh, you uh, made my task a lot easier because you covered almost everything, but we might um, disagree on some uh, definitions. Uh, His Excellency the Advisor referred uh, to the buildings that are not uh, done in the correct way. And uh, in the FEI, we have been working since 2008. And we refer to all the illegal activities that might be masked as legal ones, because some activities might look formal, like having a commercial register or a practicing license or a building uh, license, but they don't use the taxed invoice. So this is the biggest uh, challenge uh, to the own uh, society, because these uh, people might start uh, small, but even when they expand, they do not pay uh, the taxes they are supposed to. So they get uh, the tax, uh, the VAT, and their margin. And uh, this uh, puts legal uh, factories on the other end uh, of the formula, as if we are 
uh, trying to blend both and we are trying to uh, give the illegal activities some competitive advantages i cannot sympathize with this sector and i don't want to give them any incentives because they already exempted themselves from uh, uh, every uh, thing that's why I don't want to appeal to their uh, emotions so uh, based on my experience I have witnessed many industries in different sectors you have a small uh, factory and in light of the uh, sales tax uh, and uh, uh, the threshold for registration was 4,500 with more than 90 employees. And they say uh, that they cannot uh, register for the tax because they don't make the monthly threshold. And I cannot believe uh, that we have more than 150,000 industrial uh, projects and we have more than 60,000 industrial uh, projects as members of the different industrial uh, chambers despite the fact that the decision reads that if your capital is uh, 5,000 Egyptian pounds then you can be a member of the Federation of Egyptian Industries uh, the gravity of the problem is really uh, big and we have uh, many unofficial uh, or what we call under the table uh, factories uh, some importers fake uh, the invoices and their bills and this parallel uh, economy uh, can be manifested as uh, peddlers or uh, street uh, vendors um, but there are emperors who control uh, this uh, market and use uh, them to uh, market uh, the products without having any uh, legal paperwork i think we need to tackle this problem and we need to include this community with the support of the state and dr abla referred to the fact that the state always uh, resorts to lending is that the solution no of course because the, the debt now uh, is more than 400 million dollars or more than 7 trillion agp some are in cash and uh, some uh, are through contractual real estate uh, mechanisms and we did a study here we have 25 million buildings and now it's 29 million buildings and many buildings are not registered uh, we do not go for uh, the radical uh, solutions. We want the developers or owners of uh, buildings to register everything. They usually stop and leave the place. And this uh, hinders people from registering these units. And the state loses a lot because of uh, this when it comes to resale, because these uh, buildings will uh, be sold through unregistered or unofficial uh, contracts. And the same happens with second-hand uh, cars, because this happens with the power of attorney and not through official contract. So here, uh, the uh, mechanisms of this informal market go beyond uh, the under uh, table uh, factories. We have more than 1,000 and 200 markets or shops that do not have taxed in uh, voice. Uh, we have weekly uh, markets, uh, we have permanent shops, and sometimes these shops uh, are established in historic places. We can um, rehab these uh, places to serve as uh, touristic places because the shops and the peddlers, street uh, vendors affect the image of uh, Egypt. So in Cairo, in all over uh, Cairo, you have warehouses, you have storage uh, places in the buildings of, of which the state uh, is not really aware of. And they sometimes uh, uh, 
avoid uh, the state or uh, act illegally very comfortably. So I think that we should come up with certain suggestions. All the private uh, markets can be um, organized uh, on the outskirts of the city instead of downtown and of course uh, this should include uh, public parks uh, good uh, network of roads and transportation in order for the state to be able to follow up on their projects whether shops warehouses or uh, markets we need uh, this not to be embedded into the residential uh, units also this ever-growing uh, sector uh, is dangerous. As you uh, said, we had a project uh, called Holding SMEs uh, Accountable when Mr. Uh, Amr was the Vice uh, uh, Minister of uh, Finance and we only limit this project to SMEs and we, we might have a clash of definitions, even the Central Bank of Egypt, so small enterprise whose capital is less than 50 million EGPs and this is really problematic. Uh, and the same happened with VAT and the registration threshold was more than 350,000 and we warned, uh, we warned everyone against uh, this and you promised to issue the new law in six months. But but uh, as we always say, better late than never. I think now that the state has a political uh, will and uh, many uh, key uh, people work on automation and digitization and this will help a lot improve the tax regime or the tax uh, system and in pair of line 91 we called for establishment of the Supreme Council for uh, taxation to form as a consultative uh, group for the Egyptian tax authority to formulate tax policies on short term, medium term and long uh, term and I'm not uh, personalizing uh, things, I'm just describing uh, what, uh, what happens, you know we have tax officials or tax uh, inspectors supervising public funds and we need to rectify and address the shortcomings in this. Maybe the tax authority can be a public uh, body in order to overcome all the uh, challenges we have. These uh, people are really uh, working in uh, hard conditions. I appreciate their effort and experience, but uh, they need to work in better conditions. The FEI proposes many uh, things. First, we should integrate this informal uh, sector with the help of the state. We cannot uh, uh, appeal uh, to them uh, or flirt with them uh, through offering them incentives uh, because we definitely need to include uh, them because this might uh, hinder uh, attraction of uh, foreign investors. You cannot execute visibility studies with accurate result due to the spread of this cancer in society. And the state should uh, take that into consideration. Retail, when you go to any retail uh, shop, you do not uh, get a tax uh, invoice. And this uh, sector is Remember when uh, Mahathir Mohammed uh, assumed his position, he discovered that the situation is similar to Egypt. He went to the uh, fat cats of the market and told them, I don't want to deduct from your uh, profit because you smuggle, uh, you smuggle much, but please register every everything. Let me know uh, everything. And I will just uh, check the goods or I will know that you sell this and uh, you will pay that 20% tax. Here in Egypt, we should uh, have uh, 
uh, machines to count uh, the money, and this should be linked to the uh, tax uh, authority. Also, uh, need to do uh, so in all the cafes, uh, supermarkets. The state itself should have a broad uh, perspective. Also, we need to uh, have credentials or to have alternatives of these taxed uh, invoice. Uh, the receipt coming out of uh, this uh, machine should uh, be in compliance with the rules. I don't want to take much and delve all the technical details because we are running out of time and I stand ready to answer all your questions. Thank you so much.